For this tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Paintbox Simply Aran and I'm going to use a 5mm crochet hook but you can use whichever hook it recommends for your selected yarn. You will also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in your ends. I will leave everything in the description box below so go ahead look under the video and click show more and you'll find all of the details in there. Don't forget if you like my tutorials to subscribe to my channel and also click that bell button and it will notify you of when all my new videos go live. So you want to begin by creating your slip knot and you can do this in whichever method you prefer. Go ahead and insert your crochet hook and we're going to do our foundation chain. This foundation chain needs to be in multiples of two so keep chaining until you get to your desired length and then we're going to add two on the end. So it's multiples of two plus two. So that would be yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, that's two three, four, five, six, and so on. So go ahead, pause the video, work your chain until you get to your desired length of chain. So if you're making a blanket, for example, you would chain this until you get to the width of the size of the blanket that you would want, or whichever project you are doing. So go ahead, pause the video, and meet me back in just a moment. So I have just chained my length of 20 and I'm going to go ahead and chain an extra two for my plus two. And what we're going to do here is work our cross treble crochet, which is a UK term. In the US this would be known as crossed double crochet. They are the same stitch but just different terms. So for row one, what we want to do is skip three chains. So we don't count the one that's on the hook. One, two, three and then the crossed stitch starts now so even though we've just um, chained three for a crossed treble what you want to do is skip the next chain and we're going to work into the chain after that so essentially you're skipping five stitches you're then going to do a treble crochet which is a double crochet in the US yarn over insert your hook into that fifth chain from the hook yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, you'll have two loops on the hook, and yarn over, pull through two loops. So this chain three that you did, or that you skipped, is classing as a treble. We have our treble here. Now what we want to do is do a treble into the skipped chain. So that is this one just here. So what you're going to do is a treble as normal but you're going to work your way backwards. So yarn over, back into that skipped chain, insert your hook into there and then yarn over and pull through and you're working around that treble that you've just done. Yarn over, pull through two and yarn over and pull through two and there you have your crossed treble crochet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do that again. So we're going to skip the next stitch. This one that you can see here is actually the first stitch that we worked into. So we ignore that. We skip the next stitch and then work into the stitch after that with a treble. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And then we work back into the skipped treble. So yarn over, backwards, insert into that skip treble, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. We're going to skip the next stitch and work into the stitch after that, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, and then work a treble into the skipped stitch, so the previous one, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So you're simply going to work that all the way down until you get to the end of your chain. You should find that you are one chain remaining. So go ahead, pause the video, re rewind if needed, but work those stitches all the way along until you get to the second to last chain. 
So I've just worked my way all the way along and now I'm going to do a treble into the last remaining chain from the foundation chain. And that completes my row one. So now what we want to do is chain one and turn. And we're going to work into the tops of each of the stitches from the previous row. So we do this chain one, we don't go into the base of the chain one, we go into the top of the treble from the previous row. So we're going to do a double crochet, which is a single crochet in the US. Insert your hook straight into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through. So that's one, and we're going to work our way across each one of the trebles from the previous row. So just working a double crochet into each of the trebles from the previous row all the way along. Go ahead, pause the video, work your way till you get to the last treble. I'll show you how to finish off this row and move on to row three. So I've just come to the end of row two. I've just done a double crochet in the last treble. Now what we want to do is do a double crochet into the chain three, so the turning chain from the previous row. So go ahead and insert your hook into the top of that chain three and do your double crochet. And now we're on to row three. So you want to chain three, one, two, three, turn the work. We're not going to do any stitches into the base of this chain because that classes as a treble crochet. And then we're going to start the crossed treble crochet. So we skip this first stitch and then move over onto the next stitch doing a treble into that one and then we go back to the skip stitch and do a treble in there. We skip a stitch and do a treble into the next one and then go back into the skip stitch with a treble. Skip a stitch, remember this one is the treble that we've just worked into, so skip a stitch and work into the treble. So skip a stitch and work into the next one with a treble. and then a treble into the skip stitch which we've just moved over. So it's literally as simple as that. We're going to skip a stitch and treble and work back into the skipped stitch. So go ahead, pause the video, do that all the way along until you get to your last stitch and meet me back in just a moment. So I've just worked my row three, I've done all of my stitches all the way along. I've just done my last crossed treble stitch and what I need to do now is actually do a treble into the turning chain from the previous row. So this time it's going into one of the double crochets. So I just do a treble crochet in there. Don't forget to do that stitch because it helps with the edges. And then we're going to do a repeat of row two. And from now on, it's going to be a repeat of row two and row three. So you, you would chain one, and then you would do a double crochet into that first treble from the last row, and into every treble all the way across. So feel free to rewind the video if you need to in order to remind yourself of row two and row three. You would keep building those rows until you get to your desired height. I'm going to go ahead and work a few more rows. So keep on watching so you can see what it builds like. Okay, so I've just built a few more rows now so you can see what it looks like and it is really, really effective. This is the right side and then this is the wrong side so obviously there's a bit more stitch definition on the right side. I would also recommend that you finish with a row two just so the top and the bottom are fairly even. Then all you have to do is um, snip off your yarn so you can chain one and grab your scissors. Snip off the yarn and then all you have left to do is sew in your ends. 
So I really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!